Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we have the 2023 CF Moto Ibex 800 up on the dyno. We've already got a bunch of stock runs and we have been testing and tuning. Old Dave, he's been getting after it, man, and spent a lot of hours on this bike. And we have the Team MSC tune is finally finished. We're going to actually crank this thing up, run it, and uh, let you see the tune in action. We'll show you what it can do on the dyno. And of course, this will be horsepower and torque measured at the wheel, so uh, applied to the ground. Uh, the crank horsepower rated at the crank is 94 horsepower. So CF Moto rates this thing at 94 horsepower at the crank. What do y'all think? If y'all would right now, comment down in the comment section below. Tell me what you think this thing will make to the wheel. Go ahead and put your guesses down now. Y'all get your guesses down. Now we're going to see what it'll do. Dave's going to crank it up and we're going to warm it up. And then let's see what it does. run pulled up so tell me a little bit about right. that so this is just kind of our stock run after we warmed it up uh, we ended up with 85 horsepower at the back tire and 53 foot pounds of torque this is our horsepower curve here this is our torque curve here uh, rev limiter hits off at about what 97 rpm on it good fun riding bike just like yeah. it is and then we have our tuned run which we ended up with 88 horsepower, 55 foot-pounds of torque, horsepower curve, torque curve, and now we carried our rev limiter on out so that we could take oh, advantage yeah. of uh, the top end of this bike. Uh, now we've got it about 10-3, uh, so we can also look at... Uh, yeah, putting them over top. Yeah, before that's and a big after. difference. Yeah, so you can see that this bike made a gain from the bottom all the way to the top. A lot of times you'll just see a gain at the top uh, this bike was impressive. There'll be dips and stuff, especially at the bottom here, uh, where the extra fuel and stuff uh, made more power uh, in different spots. So just because we're seeing a three horsepower in different areas, there was four and five horsepower gain. So it really, uh, really done great. You can see where it stopped, where it was still pulling. Now we're pulling on out so that when we shift, we're falling back. Uh, being able to use all the power so it makes the bike a lot faster when you're playing with your buddy and actually uh, you know running red light to red light messing around uh, but a bike like this in my opinion you're going to use that bottom end torque and stuff more yeah. uh, when you get off road and that's where some of this gain that was actually more is going to take advantage 
Uh, also, what makes this bike fun to ride is, is how uh, smooth the torque curve is and how broad it is, uh, but still has the power to take over and uh, get on top of things. So just a fun bike all around. We, we like it. Uh, been riding it for a little while. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely, guys. So this is the Ibex 800, and uh, it is one awesome machine. So uh, if you have an Ibex 800, you're definitely going to want the Team MSC Tune. And to get this power, to get that increase, you saw it running. This thing is a monster. So super fun to ride, super comfortable. And with the MSC Tune, it's even better. Now what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to get to your ECU if you have an IBEX 800. And uh, it's going to be under the seat. We'll show you that process. So if you're wanting to get the Tune, the MSC Tune, uh, you can first go down the description of this video and there's a link that takes you right to where to purchase it. There's some instructions in there as well, but you will have to know how to get your ECU out. So, Mr. Dave here, he's gonna show you how to get to it. All right, uh, we'll, just, we'll start with, of course, taking the key. You got your key, uh, we'll lock your back seat over here. Just unlock it, pull it off, lay it out of the way. And uh, we'll start with a five millimeter, or just an Allen wrench five millimeter, whichever one's easier for you. Pull those two out. Then you've got your uh, wired seat plug right here. There's a little clip right there. Pull up on that clip, and then you can literally just pull it out. So you want to don't don't jerk the seat off without looking for this and mess up the wires. Or the ECU is right here. Don't mistake it for this one. It is the one on the bottom here, and it takes a little more to get it out. But it's really quick and simple. You can do it in different orders, but this is the order that I'll be doing it in. I'm gonna go ahead and take this plastic cover off the back rack. So remove the plastic piece, just lay it down. I always lay the bolts in it with it. Six millimeter Allen. Uh, don't remove these back two because there's a, uh, a brace under there that you want to stay still. So don't remove the back two. Just the two fronts with a six millimeter. You can just leave the bolt sitting in it. 13 millimeter. For the front, just leave the bolt sitting in it. Then you can just pull this off. You got this brace here that you took the bolts out of to hold the uh, back brace. And you can just slide it out of your way for now. Go ahead and push down on this tab right there. If you push down on it, you can slide this backwards and it will just unplug. Uh, you just leave this setting on this framework if you want to. Got 10 millimeters here for the battery. Go ahead and disconnect those. Go back to your five millimeter. Take your battery out. Underneath the cover to the battery, you got two more five millimeters that you're gonna have to remove. Got two more five millimeters right here. We got to remove. Don't lose your little uh, wire holder while you're pulling those out. This uh, box right here, I'm going to use this little pig, but it's got a little tab right there. You just slide it over and you can slide it off. And then under this cover right here, got a Phillips head. Go ahead and remove it so that you can slide it off of it. And then we should be able to move it out of the way enough. Now you can, you can take more stuff off to make it easier, but for us, this is all that we're gonna take off. We're gonna go ahead and unplug ECU. It's a little more, right there is the tab, if you can see it. So you want to push this tab in with something, screwdriver, anything and then you just slide this over and it will unplug it and do the same for the other one. And for the final, you got four 10 millimeters that hold the ECU on. Let's take those out. Now you can move this around without having to unhook a bunch of stuff and get the rest of your bolts out. 
which we think makes it a little easier than unhooking everything. So now you've got your ECU unbolted. These two will just stay with it. Make sure you get them out. So you got your ECU off. It's that simple. You can send it in. Now we'll go ahead and stick it back on in reverse. Go ahead and stick these two back in it to make it easier because we, we're not unplugging all these wires and stuff. It just makes it easier and quicker for us. Go ahead and line these up. Before you tighten these two, make sure that you've got these other ones run into their nuts or their clips. And I like to go ahead and tighten those first. If you don't use an impact a lot and you're not used to it, definitely tighten these back up using your hands because you don't want to over tighten them. Now these plugs have cam locks on them. These cam locks slide onto these dials. When you're sliding it back on, you've seen it go over it. And then uh, when you're camming, that's what locks it in. And you just turn it. So it kindly does all the work for you and pulls the plug right on nice and straight so you don't bend the pins. If, if it don't feel like it's going easy, slow down, guys. Don't bend the pins on the ECU. Lock it in. You heard it click in. So it's back on and ready to go already. Just take a second. Put your battery box back in the tray. I like to go ahead and just slide that back into place. Go ahead and put this back into place so we're not fighting it. Go ahead and tighten it up. And don't forget this little cover here. It keeps the water out of it. It just pushes back on nice and easy. Now we got the plug for this one. Slide it on. Same thing, cam lock. You heard it click in. Don't mistake it and send this one in. Just know yeah. that your ECU will have two plugs on it. This one's only got one. Yeah, we don't need that. <laughs> Blue Loctite, when you're going back together with them, uh, anything in the metal frame, uh, you want to put a little blue Loctite on them. And it doesn't take much. Don't get carried away with a Loctite. So these will go here. Five millimeter going back. Now you see how this wire is right here on it? Look, make sure you don't get this wire caught under this screw uh, and short it out. A wire clip under there. So go back and put it under if you forgot. Got your two silver five millimeters. Put your battery tray back in. Slide the two rubber mounts over. I will note on these right here, I go ahead and put just a touch of blue Loctite on them as well. I don't want anything vibrating out, but uh, it is kind of dangerous to, to put too much Loctite on these because these aren't going into a metal frame like this. They're going into a, uh, a brass nut that is kind of melted into this plastic. It's actually molted in, but if, uh, if that blue Loctite grabs too hard, you can spin that insert that's in there uh, so that's up to you whether you trust it or not. Uh, you might want to not put blue Loctite on it. Slide this uh, cable back over the seat mount. Frame is what, uh, what holds it down. We have our 13 millimeters in the front. Let's make sure they're run down. 
and then go to your six millimeter for the back. Loctite's great guys as long as you don't put too much on it. If you accidentally forget to tighten up a bolt, Loctite will usually go ahead and hold it there. I'm gonna put her seat back on. Got this tab in the front, slides in here. Uh, don't forget your wire, plug it back up. You can just push it in. Now the seat is a little tight to get the bolt holes to line up, so you might struggle with that for a minute. And you got two tabs here that go around these. Just slide it into place. There you go. That's it. That's it. Well, there you go, guys. We showed you how to get to your ECU. You can do it yourself right at home. So uh, go to the link down in the description of this video, and you can go check out the tune. Go to the TeamMSCParts.com website and uh, get your tune purchased and also see what else we have to offer all of you CF Moto Motorcycle guys. Plus, we have, we have a parts, accessories, for all sorts of different models, off-road and on-road. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. God bless you. As always, remember to keep it real. Give this video a thumbs up. We'll see you in the next one.